What's up, everybody? I saw Echo Gaming put out this video, Am I Quitting Diablo Immortal? And it fascinated me because I've seen a video like this countless of times from a bunch of different content creators. So I kind of want to just look into this video. I want to watch it with y'all and just kind of determine what's going on with him because Echo Gaming by the way, is a great Diablo Immortal uh, content creator. If you're not following, I'll put his links in the description to this video and his profile as well. Go Make sure to go subscribe. Uh, definitely like his video as well because he's he's top tier uh, as far as Diablo Immortal content uh, goes. So I want to watch this video just to see what his his problems with the game are and, and kind of speak on it, see if I can relate to it. So without further ado... Many of you know that lately I've been focusing on a lot of the downfalls of Diablo Immortal. If you've been watching my content lately, you've probably realized that I'm not in the best space with the game and I've been struggling to find... And I can relate to that. I did quit Diablo Immortal for a good two months, so I understand where it's coming from. Find the from. motivation to spend the grind and the time inside of the game that you need to to really be successful inside Diablo Immortal. So today I figured I'd address that. Now we've just seen a bunch of content creators leave the game. A lot of people are saying that they're going to play D3 and then they're going to move on over to D4 when the game does. Which, by the way, I'm very excited for D4. I cannot wait for D4 to drop. It look, it's looking good from what I've seen so far. Has come out. Now, with that being said, I uh, I have different plans and for all that, I'm going to be He's sharing very with you today. So I'm going to basically, over the next 10 minutes, share with you how I've been feeling, what I've been thinking, what my plans are moving ahead and all of that. Now, I will let you guys know that, you know, I saw a veiled shot. He was talking about how he's going to be getting into D3 and then moving on to D4, maybe come back to Diablo Immortal as well. I also um, hung out with Chosen last week in a video and we discussed what his plans were. Now, I personally, so let me let me show you right here. One second. My, my plan was always to eventually go into Diablo 4 uh, and still continue playing Diablo Immortal. This is still always going to be a Diablo Immortal channel, but I do plan on doing D4 content eventually as well. Uh, Diablo 3, on the other hand, um, I hope they have fun, but it's not the best game, man. But We went anyway. in and we played, well, you can see all the Diablo games we have up here. We played Diablo 3 uh -huh. and... Um, what well, you thought about it, man? I would prefer to play Diablo Immortal than exactly. Diablo 3. Logged into D3, <laughs> it's been a long time. And I just said, you know what? It actually motivated motivated me to want to play Diablo Immortal. Yeah, Diablo 3 isn't the best game. Um, whenever it first came out, I remember this was a long time ago, what, over 10 years now. Uh, me and one of my, my boys, you know, we actually went to Best Buy and bought us ourselves laptops specifically to play Diablo 3. We might have completed the, the normal storyline and didn't play it again since. Uh, I think Diablo Immortal is a better game than th uh, D3 just because D3 is so bare. It's not, you know, too much content in it that's enjoyable. It's very repetitive as well. Now, Diablo 2 is the GOAT, probably in my top five favorite games of all time, Diablo 2. And the remaster is incredible. I still play the uh, Diablo 2 remaster all the time. It's a very great game. Definitely much better than Diablo 3. Diablo 3 was underrated i'm sorry underwhelming definitely so so i logged back into diablo immortal and i started playing there instead and i enjoyed it like last night i logged in i was way behind paragon i just hit 481 that's the thing whenever you stop playing diablo immortal like i did for two months and you come back you know all the catch-up mechanics diablo immortal have you know it, it, it's actually enjoyable because you're leveling fast you're getting a ton of legendary drops so it's actually funner whenever you're behind than when you're trying to keep up with everybody else and i learned that recently and i actually changed the content i do on youtube uh to not be so competitive with the with the other high players kind of just more casual and doing my own thing so one paragon people are over 500 they're at 510 515 or so but you know what it actually felt good i was able to play right get rewarded heavily got a bunch of legendaries upgraded right, right. progression pretty quickly and it felt good because i Very wasn't fun. trying to just grind top paragon the whole time and always be up there so you know what i've decided is um when i do play i'm not gonna be focused on being one of the strongest one of the best i'm just gonna play what I'm for fun i'm gonna play for enjoyment and in that time i'll be bringing you guys my thoughts about the game current state of the game upcoming things coming to the game what needs to change inside of the game so all of that so me and him are kind of on the same page, which is interesting. <laughs> I feel the what he just said, I feel the exact same way. And like I just said, I, I've been taking those steps as well. Not not trying to 
grind too much. It gets boring. It gets stale. And, you know, the, the less you play, you know, you're, you're also buying time for updates to come out and better things because what we have currently hasn't been the most fun. So I'll be bringing you the way that we always have here on the channel. Now, I'm also going to be messing around with other action RPGs, specifically on mobile all right so there's mobile, a lot right? of mobile action rpgs huh. we know some of the biggest ones are like um on december torchlight infinite yeah. i'm gonna do a little series where torchlight i kind of infinite compare dog shit. <laughs> the games that are the competition for diablo mortal even sometimes if they're out of the action rpg space and i'm gonna kind of just compare and see what they look like compared to diablo immortal so this is where I stand right now, 481 Paragon. We definitely have grind to do, and uh, and we will. So now a lot of people are asking, will you play Diablo 4? Well, of course I'm going to play Diablo 4, right? Looks it's badass. the newest and biggest action RPG. I'm going to play it. I'll bring you some initial content, my initial impressions, and my review of the game, maybe a, a class build of something that I'm playing at the time, and we'll see where we go from there. I'm kind of leaving that up in the air. I'm not going to make any uh, promises that I'm going to cover that game on a regular basis because I really don't know what I'm going to do right there. So we'll, we'll see as time goes. But yes, I will be playing it. Yes, I will bring you content for it. Just not sure what that content is going to look like. A lot of people still really don't even know what Diablo 4 is going to consist of and what's going to be the most entertaining aspects about watching the game. So a lot of content creators right now is gameplay and news videos but we don't know what the the fun is the grind of the game is actually gonna be so we'll see it's gonna be fun just yet um i also just i want to be a little bit more creative with the content as well right like i don't want to just be in a box right and talking about the game i want to get a little bit more creative and do some fun stuff uh so i'm going to be exploring a little bit of that here on the channel as well Again, still themed around the same content, just maybe brought to you guys in a different way. Not all of it, of course. If I want to bring you daily content, I need to sometimes just throw myself in a box, talk over the game, and talk over some points. And then Yeah, uh, I hate, hated to pause it right there, but what he's doing is a fantastic idea because if he was bored doing this type of content, and sometimes all you need is change. So hopefully this change helps him out. And like I said, he's a big Diablo Immortal content creator, so he'd be a tough loss for the Diablo Immortal community so hopefully he could find a good rhythm for for himself to where he'll enjoy it again so that's what that's we're good doing. to hear um so i'm not I, if you would have asked me a week ago i would have been like man i don't know that i want to play anymore i may stop making content but as been the there, week went on it. i found I myself so logging awesome. back into the game i think i just needed a little bit of a refresh now am i happy with the state of the game no i think i think a lot of the things that we've been talking about here for six months, need to start going in the game. This last update yes. was very lackluster. Although, you know, the gem, it's just, it's lackluster. That's been the problem, especially if you're a content creator. And even if you play the game every day, you need something new and fun, something that's fun to do, something that's fun to create video wise, something that people actually want to see. I've said this before in past videos nobody wants to see you run a dungeon because. Uh, well, why? Because they've ran that same dungeon thousands of times. I mean, Diablo Immortal doesn't have anything that's fun to actually watch. I mean, that's that's a problem. Whenever you take other big games like, I don't know, Warzone. Warzone gameplay is fun to watch. It's, you know? So, I, that to me, that's the biggest change. They need to add a game mode that's fun to watch or make some changes to where it is. So And I think that might be into a lot of the other well. mobile games that I've been playing that just kind of draw you in, makes you say, oh, I got to play this. They have something that has that luster. It has that uh, that sparkle. Diablo Immortal is not having that right now. Diablo Immortal has what action RPG, you know, old school action RPG gamers want to play, not what mobile gamers want to play. So I really want to see them. Uh, I think I'll disagree with, with that because the problem is the grind in Diablo Immortal, all the, the caps they have, I mean, it, it locks you out of the grind. I mean, old school ARPG players, they want to grind. They want to they wanna spend, uh, let's say, an afternoon grinding gems out. When a Diablo Immortal, it, you'll get locked from grinding gems. You get your six per day and then that's it. So now on the mobile side, um, I guess mobily you want something you can just jump into do something and then get off so um to me it, it fits good for mobile but it don't fit good for the people that love arpgs so uh i might have to disagree with that but still some interesting points 
pop in some stuff that's really quick to play. I want to be able yeah, to jump into the game. Right, right. I want to be able to come on over. You know, maybe it could even be in the events tab and have events that are like fun. Yeah. yeah. Not just this where <laughs> you're doing fresh. your normal grind. Some first is the same old list of things to do for every single event. Uh, very weird. This is what the 20th event. That's the exact same thing. Come on, man. And you're getting rewards like, yes, this is a way to get more rewards. It is a good thing. I don't want these to disappear from the game, but I want it to be under here. Let's do some uh, some team deathmatch. Let's do some different PVP modes. Let's do some if there uh, were different a minimalized PVP version modes, of a battle not. royale mode. Give yes. us these options rather than just modes where you're doing stuff you do anyway, like defeat 15 monsters in Bilvin and get rewards along the way. Now the reward you're continuing to do the same thing. You're not you're not doing nothing new. It's all just the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Rewards are great, right? They do help us grind. And I also want to say updates have only made the game better. As of right now, Diablo yeah. Immortal is in the best state it has ever been. In my opinion, it's probably the best it's been. Uh, maybe I'm a little, I'll teeter on that a little bit based on the new gems that are coming, but it's in a good place from where it was when it launched. It's gotten better, right? And Path of Blood, I know I spoke about it with um, with DM on his on his channel. I will have to go I watch was, it. I made a mistake when I was in that, that part of the video, by the way. Path of Blood is actually... Um, it's really annoying that you have to continuously <laughs> grind it up every single time. The cycle well, turns yeah. and boom, you got to do that again. And it's annoying. So I'm glad that the ability to be able to just take on the bosses is going to be there. Yeah, good um, improvement I, I, for, for some sure. reason, I was like having a brain fart at the moment. I thought he was talking about a different game mode, which I can't even recall the name of it right now. But whatever, it is what it is. And I think another thing that I'm going to do now, uh, you, you guys know we're rocking the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is a great class. I have a really good build right now, too. I'm very happy with what I'm doing here with the Demon Hunter. I really like it. But with that being said, I'm getting a little stale. I may do a class change. Um, it doesn't take long, man. My favorite class in this game is Necromancer. And then whenever you switch to another class, it's funny first. But then after a few days, it's like, well, I kind of want to go back to Necromancer. And you can't. So, I mean, but also I really like Barbarian. So, I wish I could go from Necro to Barbarian just on the fly, but the problem is the way the set gear works and the stats and the, you know, the the Necro abilities don't matter for Barbarian and that kind of thing. So that's kind of a drag. So not really able to switch in and switch out like I would like to. To me, that would make the game a little more fun, but I guess that's just a, a minor gripe. So, I mean. And I, I, I don't know. What do you think it should be? I have already done... The Demon Hunter, the Wizard, Barbarian. I'm not going back to any of those three. We're going to grind something new. We have the Monk, Crusader, and the Necromancer. Which one do you think it should be? But, um, yeah, I don't know exactly what content is going to look like here on the channel moving forward, but I do know that I am not quitting Diablo Immortal. I may be dabbling a little less in Diablo Immortal. I may not consider myself as much of a grinder as I was in Diablo Immortal, but I'm not, as of right now, completely pulling out and saying I'm going to D3 and D4, as we've seen a lot of other people say. That's good. Um, That's good, because you would not enjoy Diablo 3, bro. It might be fun doing the first act, and it's, it's cool, but then you get to the second act, and you're in the desert, and it's just... Nah. Yeah, I guess. I don't guess do I just want everyone to know. Because I saw a lot of comments saying, Echo, why have you been so negative on the game lately in your videos? And it's true, I have been. That's that's no... Uh, it's very easy to be, though. It's I no mean, secret. I mean, I wasn't really hiding it. It was I was, it was in a bad place for me. So I essentially bring you guys how I'm feeling on the channel. Now, obviously, there's a lot of people that still enjoy the game. And me saying that I'm having a difficult time playing or I'm not enjoying it never means that I think any other people should quit because of what I'm trying to say. I'm just letting you know how I feel and I really, really hope that Blizzard takes the time and puts together some game modes to make this a little bit quicker. And that's all it would take. Just give us better game modes, more specifically PvP modes. We have the same PvP modes since launch. Give us a Battle Royale or, or anything, man. Just it's, it's been, what, seven, eight months? Or has it been that long? Six months? And we still don't have anything. It just makes you lose hope like they just don't care enough i guess and there's just they won't make any improvements i don't know man you would think after a while but to me it's been long enough to where they should so i mean example i logged into call of duty mobile two days ago i had logged game. into that game in six months i logged in jumped into some team deathmatch and enjoyed myself for three rounds 
did yep. great, logged off. I may not play it again for another few months, but you know what? I was able you to do quick fun. rounds. If I had to log into COD Mobile and grind through a campaign and get myself to a level so that I then had to be able to be at that level so I could do those events, it would never happen. And that's <laughs> the issue with Diablo Mobile right now. You need yeah, to be at that level to be able to participate in anything. And even though there's nothing really there. The, yeah, the PvP right. or the quick game mode is not there. We need to see that inside of the game for future success and to keep me personally involved in the game. Looking forward to your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Okay, that was a good video. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to Echo Gaming and uh, like this video, uh, his video as well. Like I said, top tier Diablo Immortal content creator and just one of the best content creators in general. He has other channels. You could probably go to his profile and find him. He does a lot of stuff, so... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to agree with everything besides that, that one point I disagreed on. Everything else was spot on. Like I said, I quit for two months and, um, I needed a break and then I came back and it was fun simply because I was so behind and the catch up mechanics, you know, was, was actually fun and enjoyable progressing as quickly as I was. But then you get up there near a uh, server Paragon level and then it slowed down. You're barely getting legendary. You're not leveling up quick and, we don't even, we're not even going to talk about how hard it is to, to get gems to upgrade your gems. We're not even not even going to do that, but great video. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If y'all did, please like and subscribe for more. Uh, much love to all y'all.